it is very easy to check the validity of your UAE visas and everybody else can do it no matter who you are where you where you are your educational background everybody can check the UAE visa status so I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide as to how to check your UAE visa validity okay I think I made this video about a year ago but people still do ask me about how to go about it or people do come in my inbox telling me to check for them so um, in case you don't reach me when you send me a direct message just do well to follow this step-by-step -step guide I am doing this free of charge and I am doing it willingly. The portal I am going to use in checking this, I will leave a link to that in the description below. I will put that also on the screen. Just follow the principles I am going to use here or the procedures I am going to use here and you would get everything at your fingertips. You can actually start by doing this. Even if you have no idea what the link I am going to post in the description looks like or you have no idea how to get to the description below, you can also try getting this directly by going to Google and then type in check my visa status in UAE or check my UAE visa status okay by passport number you enter now you select this first one which is track visa application and validity you can click on this and then you scroll down to check visa validity issuance and expiry dates okay with this one do not use this so you click on this and then it opens the page of the ICA, which is um, smartservices.icp.gov.ae. I'll link that in the description box, like I said earlier on. Now, here, when this page opens, you just go directly to passport, passport information. Okay. If you're already here in the UAE, then that means, or if you have a residency visa, that means you are, you are going to check via residency. Or if this is your first time or you are with a tourist visa, then you would have to check with the visa. Okay. So by so doing in the next page, it requires your passport number. So here you type in your passport number. I'm going to type in my passport number. I'm actually going to blur that because you're not supposed to see my passport number for security reasons and the date of expiry. And then next your nationality. For the nationality you select here this code do not bother about it because they're actually going to fix that code by um, after you've selected your country of origin so Ghana and then you enter so 319 automatically it appears and then make sure you check this box which is I am NOT a robot you check this box and then click on search because I clicked on visa I am a residence visa holder I am a resident so it actually came this way um, my unified my file number is three zero this is what my file number is and then my Emirates ID number is also here it's been given and then the status my file status is converted to resident which means I am a resident of the country and then this file expires on 20th June 2021 since I clicked on the visa and not the residency i am already a resident here in the country so when i cancelled from my previous company this is the kind of grace period i was given i was given from 21st um, april till 20th um, 20th june to exit the country but since my status was converted to residency um, i am now a resident and my visa is still valid now so if i come back and then um, check via passport and then um, also select residency and then check with my passport number once again and then uh, my uh, expiry passport expiry and then uh, my country of origin or nationality and then tick check this box and then search now because I am a resident this is what comes I am my my file status is active you can still see my file number and Emirates I unified number and then my file status is active Previously, it was converted to resident, but here it states active. Okay, um, file issuance was on uh, 4th May 2021 till 3rd uh, May 2024. From 4th May 2021 till 3rd May 2024. So I am still here. My stay here is valid. I am not an illegal uh, immigrant. I can stay for as long as I want to stay. You understand? So that is it. This is how you check the status of your visa, be it genuine or fake. If it is 
um, it is not a valid visa, trust me, your file status is going to clear, declare that or it is going to tell you whether it is valid or not. So this is how you go about checking your UAE visa status. Okay, I actually devoted this particular video to teach you how to check your status on your own so that you don't get yourself scammed like I was scammed back in 2018. You get yourself a genuine visa, travel into the country safely and then secure yourself the job that you need to do or the job that you need so badly. If you've watched till this far, I guess you might have hit that subscribe button because I need it to grow this family or to grow this channel. If you do like this video of mine, do well to give us a thumbs up and then subscribe. I need this subscription, so kindly subscribe for me, what it? Subscribe for me. Yes, hit on that subscribe button and then turn on post, post notification icon so that whenever I drop a video, you get notified and come join me here. If you're a returning subscriber, I thank you so much for your support. Like always, the love is deep. Thanks so much for your support for this channel and I hope you stay safe, stay out of trouble and then be on your guard when it comes to fake agents. My name remains Kofi Techi and I hope to see you on the next one. Oh, 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 oh,